Welcome to Play, Play, Play. This is our magical playroom where everything is colorful and we have lots of fun. Here, we are community. We practice kindness and we get to be ourselves. Hi, I'm Miss Stacy with Play, Play, Play and welcome to our playroom. Today, we're going to make Play-Doh. So we're going to start with our ingredients that we're going to mix together, kind of like cooking. And the end result is, you guessed it, our Play-Doh. So we have measuring cups, a tablespoon, a regular spoon so we can stir, stir, stir. We have some cream of tartare some flour, some salt, some pink color, because I want to make some pink Play-Doh, and then we'll also need some oil and some boiling water. Let's get started. So we're going to start with our flour, and we're going to do one cup of flour. We need a little bit more because we want to fill it all the way to the top. And the way you know it's full is if you go like this and it's all the way to the top. So I'm going to add a little bit more and we're going to flatten it out. Perfect. This is our cup of flour. Let's dump it into our bowl. Nice work. Now we're going to get our half a cup and we're going to get a half a cup of salt. Yummy, tasty salt. We need a little bit more again so it's at the top. So this is pretty perfect and I'm going to pour it in. Okay. Next, we're going to add our cream of tartare. Again, I fill it up, go like this so it's flat, and pour it in. So with our cream of tartare, we're actually going to do two tablespoons. So here is number two. And then we're going to use that same tablespoon and get some oil. You can use any oil you have. Today I'm using organic avocado oil. You can use olive oil, you can use canola oil, whatever you have on hand. And we're gonna do one tablespoon. Okay, we're gonna pour it in. And we're not gonna mix it yet. We're gonna keep it how it is. The next step is we're gonna boil some water and a grown-up at your house has to do this for you because it has to be really hot. So we're going to get one cup of hot water and we're going to pick our color. Today, as I told you, I'm going to do pink. So I'm going to put one drop of this pink food coloring in it, mix it with the water, and then let's do that and put it into our bowl. Okay, so we have our hot boiling water. And remember, it's really hot and dangerous. So a grown-up has to do this part for us but we might be able to help them by squeezing in the color. So we're gonna do one drop. And now watch. See how our water's turning pink? Now we're gonna add the pink to our bowl. And again, the grown-ups have to do this part until the water and the Play-Doh cool off and then we can play with it and it's so fun to touch. Stir, 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 stir. So as we continue to stir it, it'll turn into Play-Doh. Do you like to cook? What do you cook at your house? See how the dry ingredients are mixing with the wet ingredients. And if it's too wet, we can add more salt. And if it's too dry, we can add more flour and water. So we're going to keep stirring and notice it's starting to get more tough to stir. Soon, this creation is going to be our pink Play-Doh. It actually looks like icing on a cake. So it's starting to turn into Play-Doh, but let's give it a second. 
while we clean up our station. So I'm gonna put all of these on the side, on the side, so we have some more room. This would be a fun activity to help clean. Okay, I think it's almost ready. So we're gonna continue stirring. And the next thing we can do is put the Play-Doh and make sure it's not too hot for our hands. But let's put it on the table and roll it out. So we're gonna make sure it's good to go before we actually start playing with it. There's a little bit left in here that I wanna get. Okay. And now it's not too hot to touch, so you can help. Look at this big ball. Roll, roll, roll. Just because I want to, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more flour. Cause mine's just a tiny bit sticky. And that's part of cooking. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we add too little or too much, but the fun part about cooking is we can always fix it. Learning is about making mistakes because we learn from our mistakes. And I'm gonna use this Play-Doh to clean up the table. Okay. See how I'm squishing it with my hands? So the goal is when we go like that, it doesn't get stuck. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more flour, okay. And flour is kind of fun to touch. I wonder why it's called flour, because it doesn't look like a flour. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all in. Okay. What's your favorite color? I love purple and pink. Oh, but I'm kind of into yellow right now too. Okay. Now that I've got it into this long shape, I think I want to make cupcakes. Do you want a cupcake? Let's make one. Let me get my toys. I have a big basket of toys that I like to play with. I'm gonna pick this one for my cupcake. Do you know what color this is? You're right, it's green. And I have this fun tool, which is like a, kid, a kid's cutting. Boop, so we can cut it, boop, into little pieces. Let's see how many pieces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these six and I'm gonna roll it into a ball and I'm gonna put it into my cupcake. I want it to be a double cupcake. So I'm gonna roll a second ball and put it on top. I'm gonna to flatten it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this and make my cupcake have a flower. And I want to also get my roller and show you something fun that I love, love to do. Oh, this is so satisfying. Look how flat it is. It's flat like a pancake. Ooh, I'm gonna roll it like a taco. So, this is one of my favorite ways to play with Play-Doh. It's making pasta or hair. So I'm gonna take a little bit off. I'm gonna put it in a circle. And I'm gonna put it right here and watch this magic. Ready? Squish, 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 squish. Wow. So we just take it off and it can be somebody's hair. We can add it to our cupcake and make it a pasta cupcake. 
and then we open it, get the rest of this off. We can put it back in and make some more. I'm going to add it and see how long we can get our pasta before it falls off. Let's see. Do you think it can get even longer? Whoa! Let's try again. Do you think it could get even longer? Whoa! Oh, it's starting to fall, but look how long we got it. Long. Oh, it's so fun. What do you like to make with Play-Doh? I'm going, ooh, let me show you. I just found a toy that I really like. This toy is super fun because it has letters. So I'm gonna flatten mine out with our roller. And yes, my hands are a little bit messy, but sometimes play is messy. And then I'm gonna roll this one out and you won't believe it. Let me face it so you can see it. Hold on. It's letters. Can you find the letter C? Like a cat? K, K, C. Can you find the letter N? Like no, N, N, no. Wow. Oh, and I found the letter S. Like S, S, Stacy. Ooh, so fun. Hmm, what else should we do with our Play-Doh? Let's see. I'm gonna make a flat pancake. And, uh, ooh, I'm gonna roll it with this, which is going to make it have some texture. Wow, look, it has all these circles. One, two, three, four in a row. And now, ooh, a truck. Let's see if this works. Kind of, a truck. There are so many different ways that we can play with Play-Doh. I'm gonna see if this hippo works. I'm gonna push it in really tight and push this down. Eek. Oh, it's hard. Woo. Whoa, hi hippo. The hippo has hearts. Oh, I love it. And now I'm gonna make some designs next to my hippo. Oh, I know. I wanna show you one of my favorite things I like to do. So I've almost done my whole design. And I like to pretend that it's like wrapping paper like a present. So I'm gonna get a little ball. Well, this is kind of a big ball. But I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna wrap it with my wrapping paper. Would you like a present? Wow. Squash, squash, squash. Now I'm gonna make a little baby ball. One. Two. Whoops. Three. Let's make five. Last one to make five. Five little baby balls. Isn't it fun to make our own toys sometimes? I love doing that. It's so satisfying. I feel so confident and I feel so proud of myself that I made Play-Doh. So I wanna store my Play-Doh so I can make sure I can use it again. I'm gonna put it in this saran wrap. This one might be too big. Let's see, and I make sure there aren't any spots showing. And now I have Play-Doh. This lasts almost a whole year. It lasts for half the year and we can play with it again. What should we make next time? Thanks for playing, bye.